Hey guys, it is Sonia, and I am easing into the day, getting my coffee going. What is your preferred drink of the morning? Do tell. And today I am doing, I'm trying out this brand right here, Dunkin' Donuts with the K-Cups. Do you guys have a favorite coffee K-Cup, like a favorite capsule? Let me know because there's so many to pick from and I'm on a mission to find the perfect coffee that I love. So guys, I am wearing my one of my shirts that I got at Bucky's when I traveled to Texas last summer. It's got a mermaid on it. It says Southern Attitude. So shout out today to all my Southern creative sisters out there. On the back, I think it says something like, you know, a sea of a million fishes. Basically choose to be a mermaid. Sometimes you guys say to me, Sonia, like, why do you wear your good clothes when you have paint? Well, I don't. I buy it on clearance, on cheap, on sale, sometimes from thrift stores, and that is what I wear. When I was home last summer, went back to Newfoundland, mom had been given a bunch of clothes, and I was like, I gotta look through that too, right? Just to see if there's anything that I like that she didn't like, and look what I found. I grew up wearing a lot of plaid. I was a just a tank top plaid shirt kind of girl growing up. Anybody else out there? So I'm going to cover up my gorgeous mermaid shirt with this. So anytime you're out like thrifting and stuff, get yourself some paint shirts. So that way, you know, you can protect the good stuff. I am going to light one of my Junk Monkey candles, relight it. I did pack this with me. Um, I had it in my bathroom at the shop. If you guys did not know, we did a limited run of hand-poured, handmade soy candles. They're Junk Monkey, and actually this one is called Chocolate Chip Banana Muffin, and on it it says, go bananas painting while the muffins are baking, and that is exactly what I am going to do today. I'm going to just light this up in my kitchen. It's gonna make it smell really good. We got the doors open. It's just feeling really fresh in here today. But I'm actually gonna take you guys outside with me and I'll show you the project that I have going on today. So you guys might have seen in my Facebook Live last weekend, I actually picked these guys up. We went around the market, um, what was it called? Antiques on the Square or on the Diamond. <laughs> it's a diamond. Antiques on the Diamond back in Ligonier. And I got these and I think I paid like a, what you tell me, I think it was a dollar or a dollar fifty a piece. Whoops. Dollar or dollar fifty a piece. And they're really cool. But I'm going to lighten them up because I'm really thinking about just basically putting a cluster of candles in front of the fireplace that I showed you on my bedroom tour real quick. You know how it has that like brick landing in the front of it and all that brick space. And I think I want to do some light stuff in there to keep it kind of just light and serene so I'm gonna go grab a color of milk paint and we're gonna get ready to go ahead and do these guys and give them a makeover we're sitting in the yard my studio in the garage is still filled with boxes so this is gonna be our outdoor space so enjoy the sights and sounds so here we go I did take my before pictures thank goodness for that now I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my milk paint I actually picked a color in my stash called thick cream it's just like a creamy um, creamy neutral, a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit of an off-white kind of color. I love it. No yellows, just beautiful cream. Thick cream. Growing up in Newfoundland, we would have cans of thick cream. Oh, I miss that with blueberries. All right, so let's go ahead and get ready. This is actually the jar that I used the other night on my Facebook Live. I used it for paint, and then I washed it immediately after. So I just want you to know that our products are water-based. So after you're done with your project, just go ahead and rinse it out, and way to go, and then you have a nice fresh jar to begin with again. You know what, what you have to do with milk paint? We just do equal parts. I just did two tablespoons of the milk paint. And now we do table, two tablespoons of water as well. Just do equal parts and boom, just like that with your Junk Monkey milk paint powder and equal parts water, you immediately have paint. Boom, how easy was that? Now we have to stir it up. So what happens in the first 10 minutes is your paint pigments, that paint powder combines with your water and you get a beautiful paint. So you wanna just whisk it, stir it up, do what you gotta do to be able to combine it. She's already looking beautiful. Can you guys see that color inside there? Oh my gosh. So she's thickening, thickening up right now. Oh my gosh, guys. It looked like looks like whipped marshmallow. Can you see that? Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. A quick reminder when you're using milk paint. For many of you, you're watching and you're going, what, you can put milk paint on metal? Girl, you can totally put our milk paint on metal if you want to. All you have to remember is whatever you, whatever surface, you put the milk paint on, the more glossy, the more shiny it is, 
the more likely you're going to have chippiness. Remember that our chalky paint sticks and our milk paint likes to chip over glossy surfaces, okay? So this is metal right now and it's got some gloss on it, right? Can you see it? If I wanted my paint to stick as best as possible, I would go ahead and rough this up with like a sand block before I painted it to really scratch it up. So Miss Petunia, that little girl monkey on our milk paint, she can have something to get her paws to sink into. The other option would be at this point to add some what's called extra bond. It's like the muscles, okay? The James Bond, the muscles. Um, that is also you can find in our online store, junkmonkeypaint.com. And at this point of mixing your paint, you would add in just a little bit to it and basically it's like a glue that also helps Miss Petunia stick. I really want to do a chippy look on these candle holders so I am not going to buff them in any sort of way. This one looks a little bit more porous. This particular candle holder right here she may stick better on here but at the end of the day right now I'm totally open to the possibilities. And that's what's fun about milk paint is that you never know what will happen. And just sitting out here today, mixing my paint up with you guys, I feel like I'm on an adventure. And now we go bananas. Oh, this is gonna be so beautiful. Guys, we're gonna have to go out and find some nice candles to put on the top of this as well. Let's do that together. So I'm just gonna brush this on with my shabby chip brush and do a bit of a dry brushed look. Now let's go ahead and lighten up this guy here as well. It's fun to collect all different shapes of candle um, holders or candlesticks. I think it makes it real interesting when you're decorating. We are going to head off down to our local Dollar Tree. What is my life? I now only live like literally three minutes away from the Dollar Tree, five minutes away from Walmart. Man, it's a good life for a DIYer. So I'm gonna go run down to the Dollar Tree because I know everything's pretty much a buck down there. I think everything is a buck down there, but they have cheaper candles there than over at Walmart. And so for that purpose, we're gonna head down there today and see what selection I can find. I've been finding like lots of different uh, sizes, styles of candlesticks for the house. So I kind of need a bunch of candles anyway, just for staging. Um, and like I said, I think I, the one I'm looking over in the corner here where, of where I was painting, the one needs like a tapered candle and the other one just needs like a, a chunky round one of some sort. Maybe if I can get a thin tall one, we'll see what we find. So we're gonna just gonna let those candle holders dry, see what happens, see what Miss Petunia gives us when we come back. It's always a box of fun, a box of mystery. We never know if she's gonna stick, if she's gonna chip or what the heck she's going to do. But I'd be willing to bet we'll at least find a few chippy pieces on her, but we'll see what happens and also I'm probably gonna distress them a little bit as well because one of the great things about our milk paint is that it distresses really really easy boom and just like that we're here We are back and I found some goodies. I gotta tell you, it's been a little bit since I've been at the Dollar Tree and I went in and I saw things today. Like there are things that I could not unsee and things that I really wanted to go and shop, but I'm on a mission today. I'm sticking to my project. But with that said, I honestly think I might go back tomorrow because I, you know, while I was standing in line for the checkout, I can like see things and I'm like, oh, and it's only a dollar. 
So stay tuned because tomorrow might be a Dollar Tree haul. I'll take you with me and we'll see what they have out on the shelves right now. Okay guys, we're back at the work area. There might be lots of noise in the background because it sounds like if I show you through the trees, the city workers are out and they're cleaning and weed whacking all the sidewalks. So great timing for us. All right, so we're back. We just let these air dry. And like I say, you just never know what Miss Petunia is going to do. So right now I'm just looking at the areas where she wanted to chip and crack. Can you guys see right there? Like as an example, I'm just moving my finger over very lightly. That is what Miss Petunia does. That is her at work right there. She just throws up beautiful chippiness, which makes it very authentic for when you're painting with it. And I love me some chippy. Oh my gosh, I am in love. Isn't that just sweet right there? So I'm actually going to go all over these. Let me show you another part right here too. You guys see right here? Oh yeah, watch what happens. Cause you see all the little cracks, right? And there you go. And so she holds on in places and she lets go in places. Right there, I see some more chipping and cracking. Oh my gosh, isn't she beautiful? Oh, we love her so much. And on this piece over here, I'm gonna go over here as well, look it over. I see there's some cracking up top up here. I'm actually gonna grab this fine grit um, polishing pad. They're on our website. I'm gonna go all over these pieces. And what will happen is any parts that wanna fall off will fall off and we'll get it nice and polished and smooth. One of the most beautiful things you can do with our paint is the fact that you can buff it when you're finished painting. And it will, my friends, just go to just a beautiful velvety, buttery, smooth finish. I love the fact that with this fine polishing pad, I can actually manipulate it, right? So like if, for example, if you're polishing spindles or something like that, something round, you can't do this with one of the sand pads, but you can do this with this piece, this with this tool. Oh, I love it. You gotta see this. This is what I'm talking about right here. You can only get this look with milk paint. You can't get this look with the chalky style paint, and that is why Miss Petunia is beautiful in her own way. Oh, we love her so much! So Miss Petunia at work on this piece, serving us up some nice chippy pieces. Uh, see all this piece? Oh, uh, we love her so much! I can't stop loving Miss Petunia. She makes my world go round. What can I say? So guys, we're in our bedroom, and if you saw the mini makeover, what I've got done so far to the bedroom, you'll know that this is the fireplace at the end of our bed. And I'm really thinking that these dollar secondhand candles will look beautiful somewhere like around right here, you know? Um, I know your eye likes things of three, so I've picked two of these so far. I'm gonna have to definitely go and maybe find one other third thing to put there. Let's see, let's see if those candles are gonna work for it. Okay, let's see here. So I got the white one for a buck, and I've got a pack of tapered candlesticks for a buck. Perfect. So let's grab one of these. And I went with white. Oh my gosh, guys, isn't that beautiful? Oh, she's so pretty. She's so simple, but she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. All right, and this is the other one. Mm, it smells good. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this one on here. Is that not beautiful right there? Because you guys know that I have, like, you know, you can see the creams, you can see the white, so it's okay to do your base in a cream and put your white candle on it. I think it looks very, very elegant. So let's think about this. Candles, $1 a piece. Holders, $1 a piece. $4. And a little bit of elbow grease and junk monkey paint. Thank you so much for subscribing to my daily vlog. I really appreciate it. I love hanging out with you guys, sharing home ideas, and things that we can do to make our home beautiful on a budget. Give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Did you enjoy this flip? Do you have one that you're gonna do too? See you tomorrow, bye.